Whether they celebrate Christmas or not, students at OSU cannot escape the echo of holiday music coming from the Edmund Lowe Library. Beginning on Dead Week, the bell tower plays a Christmas song every hour at 20 minutes past the hour. As students hear the music, most of them probably imagine a choir of bells swinging in the tower. However, physical plant electrician Dan England says there are no actual bells involved. The bells are not actually bells as such, they're electronic bells. This is the piece of equipment that controls it. To put on the Christmas music, we have to program it. The library installed the digital system in 1993. However, library communications specialist Bonnie Kane says the original bell system is still in the tower. Currently, the bells that we have at the library are digital, but the two keyboards that we have here actually powered the original carillons. When the building opened in 1953, the carillons were an actual instrument, um, and people would come up and use these keyboards to play the bells. A professor from the music department would actually play a concert on the keyboard three times a week. And although the library is not known to be haunted, one library employee says that the keyboards were known to play by themselves. There were rolls that used to go through a player piano. They had a very similar system for the carillon. They had certain rolls that could run through um, uh, this keyboard system and play songs. Whether it's playing Christmas music or telling students what time it is, the bell tower continues to be a part of the heritage at OSU. The bell tower in particular is um, a very iconic image. It's oftentimes used as a symbol of the university. So I think the Edmund Lowe Library and the bell tower will always be here and always be a symbol of OSU. For O-State TV, I'm Caleb Johnston.